Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. What a beautiful day we're having today. Gorgeous day. Not too cold, not too warm. 45 degrees. Clear skies. The sun is out. <laughs> Just a beautiful day. I'm out here for a walk again at this uh, Stones River battlefield. And uh, seems to be a lot of folks out here on a Saturday morning. Yep, see that one all the way down there? This uh, area here, uh, we were here last time. It's called, I believe, Area 4. We'll check that plaque that's over here. But this particular site is called Area 1 on the map. And there are two cannons right here. There's one here, and there's one right over there. And this is the battlefield that took place here. And it's pretty extensive. And it goes all the way across here. And all the way into the woods. All the way over here. Comes over here. There's a group. Brigades fighting over here. Down over here. All the way over here. A famous site over there. Number five was a monument constructed there and uh, all this area here and then back to over here wow quite a sight quite a sight doesn't look like a large area but it truly is one of the famous battlefield why it's famous a lot of soldiers have died in this area and here's two more cannons facing in this direction here. Battle took place in there. And a number of uh, sites there that I was famous for. And check out those cannons. Wow. There was a plaque there. There's two plaques. There's three plaques. And uh, we're going to take a look at them and see what they have to say about the Battle of Stones River. Check out these fences. Awesome. Awesome construction. They maintain their area here very well as the park district and the people that work here do a good job. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to attempt to read that for your information. Well, we're out here. Waiting anxiously for tomorrow's fate. Two armies, over 80,000 men, were now within killing distance of each other. Eight, excuse me. As night settled in, excuse my uh, sniffling, it's kind of cold out here. A chilling wind rose through the cedar thickets and across the muddy fields. The unsettling sounds of moving infantry and artillery would be heard. Some men try to sleep, others reflect on tomorrow battle and thought of home through the darkness the bands of both armies began to play one band started playing home sweet home and other bands joined in when the song finished an uneasy silence lay thick on the night for many in the blue and gray it would be the last song they would ever hear. Yeah, I'm just wondering what would I be thinking about if I was here. Wow. Cedar thickets. That 
would be right about here. Alright. Keep on walking. Exploring the promise of freedom. After a civil war, four million formerly enslaved people took charge of their own lives. They began to exercise their rights and start their own communities. They built homes, churches, and businesses. For time, for the first time, black men and women could own property. Here the community named Cemetery took shape. Soldiers were the 111th U.S. Colored Infantry who had built stone who had built Stones River National Cemetery bought land. They started their own lives near the place where they worked. By 1880, most of the cemetery residents were African Americans. Half of its farmers were black males. Despite the hostility of white neighbors and the creation of the National Battlefield Cemetery endured for over 60 years. The black farmers and laborers worked for worked the surrounding fields to grow cotton, tobacco, and corn. See more cannons in the background. Probably there and there. There's a shot of the four cedar thickets. We have another plaque here. And check out all the cannons. Parsons batteries heavily engaged. 1962, December 31st, noon. The 200 reg regular army gunners of batteries H and M set up their eight canyons from the here all the way to the Nashville Pike. For four solid hours, at brutal short range, they fired many hundreds of rounds of munitions into the rebel ranks. Their steady punishing barrages helped dishearten their foes and encourage their comrades. This appears to be a quote here. My instructions from the General Palmer were to remain in the position where I then was in order to check the advance of the enemy. Should he turn our right flank, at about 8 a.m. our infantry came falling back from the pine woods. Our batteries were swung around and brought at once into action. The approach of the enemy was parallel to our front, and when he arrived within about 300 yards we open upon his first line canister with canister the enemy fell back beyond our view he re appeared shortly afterward to our left but again receiving our fire fell back beyond our view at about noon just as I had nearly given up of em running out of uh, ammunition, I received orders to retire. Whew.
All right, let's take a look at these cannons. This one says, uh, this one says 1864. Man, look at all those holes in there. Wow. Uh, that's uh, a colony of wasps. They uh, clogged it up. Sometimes you see some of these cans have those screens. I think it's preventing from birds to getting in there and maybe some other small creatures to lay nests and things like that, clogging up the barrel. Wow, check this out. There's the field. Wow. All right, we're going to continue to walk. I have a feeling that today I'm going to be hearing a huge amount of airplane traffic being Saturday morning. Some flight training going on, airport nearby here in about three, four miles. Not a view of the cedar thickets. Got a strong breeze out today. My fingers are getting a little bit cold in this camera, but it's okay, I endure. A couple more cannons. date written on that. This is a wood. I can see the green. Yeah, I see the green on it. But this is made out of wood. The rest is metal. This, this may be out of wood. Station C O N N. Does that mean Connecticut? Wow. W A B. I don't know what that stands for. Wow. It looks like a cannon to be used on top of a pirate ship or some. Battleship in the 1600s. Wow. <laughs> and the cow is sinking into the ground. Same type of can. U.S. Can't see anything else on there. Markings. Oh, there we go. 1861. 1861. It's 
First time I seen a date at that location. What does it say here? Can't make it out. Hmm. Get a little closer. Yeah, there's something written there. I can't make it out. Okay. Not a battlefield area here. Seem to be the various locations that battles are taking place at the same time. This is one of them. And this is another one. And of course you got another one back there. We just came from. Another one over there, up in the trees. It's called Battle of Tears. Maybe one day we'll pay a visit to that. It seems like a lot of folks do when they come out here. I believe it's quite a sight to behold. Last time I was here, I was walking the opposite direction. I came from there all the way around and stopped over there just to show you the battlefield area here that took place with the cannons on the ridge here. <clears throat> A whole bunch of them. And I said that next time maybe I'll come out here and continue walking over here to that plaque, the two trees. Check out this bedrock here. Wow. And, wow, that would be a good place to hide and shoot and fire in that direction. Man. Man, these soldiers were all over the place. Check that out. Huh. And what is this made out of? Steel. Imagine being behind here. You had your own weapon and you had a fire over there, whatever moved. And there was a whole bunch of soldiers over there and here, all firing at the same time. Awesome. Wow. That's amazing. Right there is the burial ground for the uh, Union soldiers. It goes from there, extends from there, and goes all the way over there, right next to a railroad track. Wow. Many, many grave sites. Many stones I see from here. Wow. That. Wow. Wow. Many of my regiment got within 60 yards of the enemy guns, but were compelled to give back for what want of support. It seemed the commanders expected our brigade and the Texas brigade that fought beside us to root the entire federal army at the odds of 10 to 1. The enemy batteries 
seem to have no end either way. My regiment lost 119 killed, wounded, or missing. Imagine the narrow belt of land between the Nashville Pike you see ahead. Right there is a road, which is the Nashville Pike. And the railroad tracks just behind it. That's the tracks right above this road. See that car? Right above that is the railroad tracks next to the cemetery. Just behind it jammed with 30,000 soldiers. Right in that area here. And I was all, also think behind the railroad tracks. Dozens of cannon and countless horses. The Confederates who charged out of the cedars into the field would have seen what seemed to them to be an endless wall of blue coats. Cedar fields would be right about here. All this over here. All this over here. Cedar fields. <sighs> Oof. Seemed to them to be an endless wall of blue coats rallied and reinforced along the road ahead. For the Federals, the long hours of chaos and retreat at last came to an end here at the edge of this cotton field. This army of the United States ended the year 1862 badly battered but still full of fight. 1862, December 31st, noon. So this is the battlefield. This is where I walked last, right over here where the man is coming. And that's the end of that walk. I'm going to head back and reroute since we've been what's been behind us so we'll head back and uh, we'll just take a look here see what else we can see Hundreds of soldiers here. Hundreds. Actually, thousands. All lined up all the way around here. Did I read that correctly? 30,000 Union soldiers on this side. And however many Confederates were on this side. Wow. Incredible. I'd walk in the high grass here, but uh, I don't think it'd be wise unless I was wearing snake boots, which I'm not. Here's the cannons that we already looked at but I want to see if I can find some writings on the other cannon we try to look for this one here on this side to see if we can we know what the year is 1861 let's check this one out
it out. Maybe the camera can make it out. Can't make it out my eyes. I see a bunch of numbers, I think. And letters. But I can't make it out. Let's see what's on the other side. Try not to cover any part of the lens here with my fingers. Uh, this one was 1862. Ah, it looks older. And this one was 1861. But you know what? I think I'm going to sit down for a little bit. <laughs> this makes a great bench. It gives me a moment to reflect what occurred here. Oh, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine that. Unless you've been involved in the combat and the movement of things and being involved in fighting. We can't imagine what has really occurred here, what these soldiers went through. I can't even imagine. I can't even try. The horror, the pain, the anguish, the hope. Sometimes there's no words that you can say. The question I have is, I hope it was worth it. The price it had to pay. The battles took out, that took place in the different parts of the country were humongous. From what I have seen and read is about 50 different battles areas that are popular now and there was more it's like over 1200 skirmishes all over the country well I think it's basically it was focused on the east side and south I don't think there was much on the west or midwest well, I'm going to continue on walking and uh, yesterday was uh, an interesting situation at home uh, difficult to walk around the house with the right knee it's been acting up uh, even talked to the wife about it she says it might be a good idea to call the doctor and get things set up for surgery. And I agree. So I think that uh, that's going to take place because uh, I can't walk very far. And some days I can't walk very much at all. But the left leg where I had my prosthesis is doing very well. There's, uh, it's great. It does. There's no pain there, and that's the whole purpose of getting it done. Take away the pain, the joint pain, and uh, and the things around the joint, cartilage, ligaments, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the stop number three. So we have covered uh, two stops today. We have covered. Uh, one and three. We've covered four, we covered five, and there's one left, six. And I think six is the cemetery area. 
right back here. So me, until next time, uh, we're going to visit that. Now I noticed a sign here, Cottonfield Trail. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'd like to walk in there. Let's go. Let's see how I'll do. Trail exhibit, no bicycles. Now, if you notice, I'm just being very careful. Caught in the field, Stone River, Fresh Three. Huh, nice. They tell you something about it. I got some steps here. Taking a well. Oh my, interesting. Wow. Imagine, imagine. Covered with troops, Confederate troops, all along here. Thousands of them facing the artillery, gunfire. Man. Look at that. Interesting. Oh. Oh, it's an old stump. Well, end of the trail. Nope, more. Okay. Whew.